So we're in Dublin for Fuse 24. I'm here with Petal Edel. He is the Chief Architect of DTO RAN and VP of Network Trials at Deutsche Telekom. Great to see you again. Thanks for taking the time out of your schedule to, to join us. Um, can you just give us an update on Deutsche Telekom's uh, Open RAN strategy uh, and plans? Where are you uh, with what you're doing with Open RAN? Sure. Um, first of all, thank, uh, and thank you back for having me here. Um, so as far as the Open RAN strategy and Deutsche Telekom is concerned, so we still continue our approach in focusing in three areas. So the first one is uh, open front hall adoption, and the second is independent management framework, and third is um, hardware software decoupling via Cloud Run. So this was core of our strategy, or this has been core of our strategy. Um, I should also, um, again, uh, re-emphasize that approach we are taking is the large scale, um, public, mobile, high capacity, high power networks. So that's what we focus on as a use case. And uh, uh, by means getting there is uh, via network modernization. So that's that's our ultimate, uh, ultimate approach. And uh, now going through these elements of, uh, of our open RAM strategy, so on the, uh, on the open front hall adoption, and again, we are looking at multi-vendor uh, solution. And of course, we don't do multi-vendor because of multi-vendor, we do it where it matters and where it brings benefit. So here uh, we see that the specifications are already quite mature enough and also implementations are mature enough. This is why we decided to uh, adopt and deploy commercially. And uh, we are uh, progressing in our uh, um, engagement with Nokia and Fujitsu and um, we are moving towards um, our target of having 3,000 plus sites by 2027. So, so far also um, we have seen uh, quite a good performance because otherwise we would not deploy in terms of uh, quality and important KPIs that, uh, that we have. A uh, second element, as mentioned, is uh, independent management framework. So this is uh, quite important uh, for us in terms of future flexibility. Mm -hmm. So uh, that effort is uh, in the development stage um, at the moment. So uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, looking at uh, adoption of O1, O2 interfaces that are important uh, for, for that effort and this will then enable us to get a desired flexibility because then you can much easier uh, work with the infrastructure underneath and at the same time doing the northbound integration into your IT OSS system just, just once. And then uh, on the third part, which is adoption of, of Cloud Run. So again, it is uh, more in the, in the development and testing phase. And um, here our focus is um, adoption of third party CAS solutions. Uh, what I mean by that is that um, our key focus is to gain, again, flexibility and portability of the RAN applications on top of a platform. So going towards this horizontalized uh, platform approach uh, to gain uh, flexibility in terms of uh, portability of um, RAN applications like CUDU and stack, but at the same time exploring opportunities to create synergies across different domains. And for that, it is important to us, and this is where we are investing, is defining so-called uh, Deutsche Telekom Cloud Blueprint. Okay. Uh, that is defining how uh, also automation tooling and observability tooling uh, looks like next to uh, the execution environment itself, because this, uh, this would allow you to create synergies uh, by reusing the same tools, reusing processes, across different different domains and that's that's where we have our focus on at the moment okay 
Uh, in terms of the, the management layer, um, uh, the, the SMO and the evolution of RAN intelligent controller uh, uh, platforms and their applications, there seems to be rising up the uh, stack now in terms of uh, where operators are putting resources and able to do things. But this is something that you've been working on for a couple of years and you've done an internal development for your SMO, haven't you? Uh, where, where are you with that? Are you close to being able to take it out to uh, a field trial and see if it works or, you know, how's that progressing? So, um, as you said, so uh, we have been on that journey uh, for quite some time. Um, uh, we have also demonstrated uh, some of the capabilities of the approach and SMO together with near-time uh, near rig and working also with ecosystem on uh, certain Arabs um, uh, in the context of our earlier trials in, in Germany. And um, we, are seeing, um, we are seeing benefit and opportunities coming, coming out of that, um, basically bringing innovation via uh, smaller developments in the context of our apps and using uh, using that platform and environment to uh, steer uh, the underlying uh, network infrastructure and, uh, and along that journey we have also seen um, uh, other opportunities because um, for us it will be important that we uh, arrive to a point where we have a common management framework that is able to address the needs of open run but also existing run deployments right so we, we have seen uh, uh, good benefits and opportunities in that space and that's where we are also uh, putting the development efforts right now okay um, and in terms of uh, may, maybe a, a field trial or a rollout is that something you'll do in Germany first or Will you look at maybe one of the other uh, operating units within the, the, the Deutsche Telekom group to try this out? So, uh, I, I think that what, um, what our approach is, is kind of step, uh, step approach. Of course, um, in terms of um, the open run deployments as such, so our ultimate approach is to bring it, as I mentioned, as part of network modernization, where you basically uh, swap the complete RAN infrastructure. And in, in, in that sense, uh, we are treating uh, SMO as common management uh, infrastructure and will be part of the, the future deployments so or independent management framework. So, that's, that's where we go and how we see to get to uh, the ultimate picture. And um, in the meantime, uh, we will also see uh, the needs coming from the traditional infrastructure because we have also um, um, uh, communicated um, our obligations towards uh, the German government. In, in, in Germany to be able to, um, uh, to manage uh, one of the existing RAN solutions in Germany. So this is um, again one of the components or one of the steps in the context of independent management framework that we are uh, progressing on. Okay, so that's in Germany and, that, and this is the, the, the well-known situation with uh, Huawei where the German government has decided that the radios can be retained but not the uh, associated intelligence so the the SMO could evolve to as something that and I think this is happening with our, our other operators as well where they're looking at the SMO ultimately to be the single management layer for whether it's legacy traditional RAN or in fact any kind of RAN I guess is that but that, that's quite that's some way off though isn't it right and then uh, as, as mentioned so you have certain opportunities and steps to get into that picture, but you are you are absolutely right. So we want to move away from being uh, being dependent always with the management system to uh, the underlying infrastructure providers, and then having also multiple integration into your IT systems uh, in the northbound. So but that's um, and then as the opportunities occur. On the on the journey, we are we are adopting and deploying according to those needs. Okay, 
And then just ac across the Deutsche Telekom group, are there any particular markets where uh, things are maybe uh, more progressed or, or are acting as uh, almost, not test grounds, but helping you to understand the processes first? So, of course, on, uh, on that front, um, we are always looking at opportunities where we can uh, gain certain experience and, uh, and deploy in, in terms of trials and proof of concepts. But there are no details at this point of time that we could, that we could share specifically, but, uh, but in, the, in the sense of the process, how we get to the, uh, to the ultimate picture, yes, this is this is always along the um, along the path how we get to the target picture okay that's great Peter. thanks very much for joining us today enjoy the rest of uh, fuse 24. thank you very much ray and thank you for having me